All right, new spot. Was at that Bridgeville spillway. Was there for about a half hour, nothing was hitting. Then I had somebody come up who was fishing beside me, so I figured I'd just get out of there and come down to this, this spot here. See if I get anything, if not, and head down to uh, somewhere near Racetrack Road, see if I can get anything out of those spots. So stay tuned, guys. See. You. It's actually kind of funny. I was here maybe two maybe three weeks ago and left my sunglasses on this branch and uh, they weathered quite a few storms six inches of snow a few rainstorms so that's pretty cool <laughs> Got one there. I thought this was a freaking snack. I just wonder what this is. A carp? No way, that's a carp. Maybe it is. Fighting. Look at this. Look at this guy. There we go. Hey, buddy. Wow, you are massive. Let's see what you got. You guys active yet? What you guys been doing? Huh? Wow. Look at this guy. I hope my camera's on. Oh man, does he have a belly? He is healthy. This has got to be the biggest fish I've ever caught. Wow. He is nice. Whew. Is a hell of a smallmouth bass. Barely hooked him. Wow. I hate to put this guy back. Whew. See if I get my phone out. <laughs> I think there's a pretty bad snag somewhere over here. I lost like three baits the last time I was here. I think it was in this area. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Try out the micro jig minnow today. See if we can get something trout or anything smaller. I think if I get that bass back on this rod, it's probably gonna snap it. So. I 
think I found that snag. Yep, that's it. Shit. All right, guys, that's it for today. Whew. Um, started out at that uh, Bridgeville uh, spillway. I got down there. I was there for maybe like a half hour. Nothing was hitting. Water was still flowing <coughs> pretty fast. I didn't feel like changing out baits. Plus, somebody came in like the last 15 minutes and was fishing right next to me. So, I got out of there. Came back to this spot where I caught that fish the last time over by the Bridgeville exit and uh, I was here I mean it's only been maybe an hour and 15 minutes uh, reeled in that real nice Goliath smallmouth um, tried other uh, other baits I went to that minnow nothing hit got it snagged eventually I found that snag that I was talking about and uh, yanked it off so calling it quits for today gopro died i didn't have it charged all the way up it was only at like 50 percent so um, i'm gonna keep using that keep getting better videos posting to youtube here um i promise i'll get out a lot more this spring summer and even into fall uh my wife's actually due to have a baby wednesday today is friday so it's probably gonna be the last time fishing before I'm a dad so that's fun and exciting something to look forward to um, like I said I'm gonna try to get out as much as I can uh, with having a baby so it's gonna be a little difficult this year but I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna go up to my camp I think next hopefully and hit up Lake Donegal kind of like near Ligonier I don't know if anybody knows where that is Lake Donegal uh, Indian Creek there's real good trout in Indian Creek I used to f fish there a lot when I was younger um, still gonna hit up Cross Creek a lot this year uh, I hit Cross Creek up last year and I mean I I was there for like four or five months I only pulled out one fish I don't know if there's uh, something going on They're like there's no bass there's hardly any bass hitting in that lake at all um, just seen a lot of bluegill so yeah and I'll be coming back to this spot here as well so that's all I hope you guys enjoyed tune in next time